Okay, guys, so to the, on the channel, we've got one of my cars that um, we're going to do a rebuild series on. It's over here at Triple R Automotive in Northampton, uh, just, near, just next door to Santa Pod, who are doing the body work on it. I'll give you a bit of a, a background of the, the car. So I bought the car when I was 21, when I moved back to the UK from Australia, where I used to live. And the, uh, the car was, is a low number car. So VW made it and made 5,000 of them uh, to, for the homologation for Group B rallying. There's about 110 to, uh, uh, that are sawn off the road at the moment, and about 30, 20 to 30 of them that are that are on the road. So the the vehicle, you know, I bought it because it was like quite a desirable car at the time, a bit different to a regular Mark II. They came in a um, in the with the, the platform was a uh, which are the rarest to spec is a right-hand drive version, but the majority of them are left-hand drive with a 1.8 G60 supercharged engine and a uh, synchro four-wheel drive system. Uh, it's the, the the box arches are flared on on the car to give it that rally-inspired look. But we'll show you around the car when we go inside. I had the car for quite a few years. I've had it, you know, lots of lots of places I've taken to to get work done, and it's never really progressed very far. So we're gonna we're gonna get it done uh, this time. And the guys over over here at Triple R have been beavering away to get as much of the work done as possible on it to get the body work back up to where it needs to be. So let's go around and, and show you the car and, and uh, see what you think of it. So as you can see, they've got the vehicle in primer currently at the moment. We'll insert some pictures of, of how it was when I dropped it off. Didn't look at nearly as good as it does now. All the panels have been straightened out. They've done quite a few body work repairs on it. Luckily, it's kept the original sills that are on the side, which are really hard to replicate. A lot of people have had to remake sills for them. They're a bit of a water trap. I'll show you around the, around the side of the car and uh, we'll just do a quick pan down the side so you can see like the, the rear arches. The front arches aren't on the car, but they're just over to the side. So once we get this all done, so it's gonna, I'm gonna stick with the original color that this car was, which is graphite metallic, which is a, like a dark gray color. Uh, it's one of the, the rarer colors that these cars came in. So obviously it's nice to keep it as original as possible, the look of it. And we'll show you around some of the areas on the vehicle that we've done, they've been doing some repair work on it. So we're just gonna show you some in detail parts and then Axel's gonna come closer and show you um, some of the bits that they've done. So across here on the scuttle panel, this car normally has two wiper locations for a twin wiper. I didn't like the old double wiper setup. So we've gone with a single wiper setup. So all of this section has been been smoothed out by the guys here. So this area has all been reworked. There was a bit of rot here in the corners of the, the windscreen, because these come with a bonded windscreen to add strength. So all of this area needs to be as good as it can be before we put a new screen back in it and bond it in place. Some cars, very rare ones, didn't come with a sunroof. Majority did have a sunroof. Um, this is a sunroof car. So we're gonna stick with that because it's a whole load of hassle to change it over to a non-sunroof vehicle. Obviously it's still going to stay left-hand drive and one of the things that they had to do a lot, quite a lot of work on was the, the roof and the filler cap on the other side. So this whole section of the roof, when I had the car in storage many years ago, someone decided to put a wet carpet mat on the roof which rotted out a section of it. So they managed to bring, take it all back down to bare metal and bring it all back up so that won't, that won't be there anymore. There's usually a, a hole in the top as well for uh, uh, an aerial. So we smoothed that over, over the top. Uh, round the back, this, so these side sections were smooth because that was all the rage back in the day to smooth out everything you can. So that was smooth. They've dug it back out because it's at some point when you smooth things like that out, there's gonna be some movement in the car and things like that area being smooth will probably cause cracking or, or anything like that in the future. So to eliminate that, we're going to leave that as it was. This rear section here normally has a badge location. Um, it already been smoothed before, so we're going to keep that smooth rather than trying to put sections of, of metal back in it. And this was the worst section here where the filler cap is because it was all the rage, like I said, to smooth stuff. A friend of mine decided to weld this all in one hit to smooth out the filler cap. And the plan was but you will put a filler cap in the in the rear light but things like that don't happen overnight so you buzz that in one hit with the welder and all this panel sunk in luckily these guys have worked some magic 
cut out the filler cap that was welded in place and brought the panel back so it's all straight again. So that took a that took a, a quite a lot of work for them to do that, but it looks absolutely perfect now. You wouldn't even tell that there was anything there. We'll show you a before shot of that because that was that was pretty bad. But yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with the progress that these guys have made, and then hopefully we'll see it back very soon, all in colour and all shiny, and then we can start the the process of bolting bits back on it, and uh, you'll see the the plans that we've got for this coming up um, to do a you know to do a nice nice job of it. So in the engine bay, they've done a bit of work also. They've got removed some of the unnecessary bits that we won't need anymore because we're going to try and tidy up a little bit, but not over the top and smooth everything everywhere because that's not, that's not what I like. So we've removed the, the battery tray section over here. They've, they've removed that. They've got rid of a few of, the, a few of the, the holes and tabs that sit around on the turrets to make it look a bit nicer when it's all painted up. Um, this section here had three holes where someone in, put a, uh, an alarm, just drilled it straight through the firewall. So they've, they've, what they've done is they've smoothed that back over for me. But I want to keep the in essence of the car, but just tidy it up a bit in the engine bay so it looks nicer when the engine's back in place. Um, that's the plan for it. So anyway, so just here in the in the scuttle panel, they've put some uh, some bag sealer in to seal off this section, prevent any water coming back in and they've managed to get some un up underneath the scuttle panel also, uh, just in case there was any water in here to prevent it from causing any more rust in the future on this sec section here. But, you know, all of that section I'll probably cover over, but it's nice that they've done that, so then I, don't, I won't need to worry about that in the future. So next time we see this, hopefully it'll be all painted, and then you can get to see all of their hard work in, uh, in, in all its glory. We're going to keep, I'm going to keep the four wheel drive set up on it. It's going to be tweaked. We're going to use a different four wheel drive system on it, which you guys probably heard about. A lot of people change from Synchro over to Haldex. So we're probably going to go over to Haldex on this car, but we'll show you more about what we're going to, what we're going to be doing once it's back with us at VRS. So if you're enjoying the series and you want to see more content on the, on the rally, help us out, drop a like, uh, share it to your friends if you if they if you think you'd be interested in, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you get to see more content like this. Thank you.